ladies and gentlemen, I am answering the bat signal sent by the sun. That's right. On this super duper energetically charged day where you have Mars, Saturn, Venus, and the moon pretty much stacked up in our sky and the sun is waking up and bing bang boom firing off snap crackle pop solar failures right at us oh yeah and when the sun acts weird earth weather acts weird people kind of lose their minds and i act extra strange kind of like i'm doing now so yeah so now this i think it's ar2795 i don't know we'll come up with the proper numbers here in a bit as we take a look at a couple angles of this um it's fired off two m-class flares and a c-class flare so wow and it does appear this one will also be earth directed probably hitting us around the 31st bam look at that bam look at that hey do you remember when like 99.9% .9 of the space in earth weather community on YouTube was trying to sell y'all a grand solar minimum for five years? Well, um, it doesn't look like that's happening. Booyah. All right. I got to be careful because today's probably not a good day for people to take jokes. But yeah, super duper, absolutely buckle up because the end of March is going to be wild. That's my guess. And it looks like it's accurate. Boom. That is impressive. Hey, it's almost like a space bird flying out of there. Hey, little space bird. Solar birds. What is that right there? We love you. Fly on. Birds are cool. Especially sunbirds. Bam. That is neato. And we're looking out for severe weather tomorrow. And then super severe weather on Wednesday. And it's just going to be like a, a crazy, wild, weird. Um, the first half of April. You know, this is a video of a very massive pileup that happened on Interstate 81. And you should always be careful if you are in a pileup and you step outside to videotape it because these cars can flip over other cars uh it's it's safe to get behind guardrails and you never know when cars start smashing into each other at 50 to 80 miles per hour like how fast the debris will fly like it's best to just get the hell out of the way as far away as you can until the whole situation calms down so you've got mixed precipitation snow in some places ice in some places wildfire happening you know so is definitely 2022 is definitely wild industrial engineer Arint Kiora is calling this a solar demon in solar demon maybe it's a typo we see the M class this is the one earlier this is the one before the second one. Anyway, I tried to make a joke. It didn't work. So you get wildfire danger here. And then you got the weather that'll be pushing through. You had big wildfires in Colorado. And then in uh, Texas. Everything's kind of sort of unstable right now. For sure. Absolutely. Keith Strong. Another M-Class flare. A second M-Flare today just happened. But only an M1 blue arrow. The two flares before it look like M flares. But aren't quite. C997. The flare activity seems to be building up. But to what? Crazy fun and excitement. Um, asterisk. Or as high flute and educated people say. Asterisk. They say that right. I don't know. Today feels like one of those days where everybody's mad about something and then everybody's telling everybody that they're mad about something. I am mad about nothing. I don't hate nobody and I ain't angry nobody. 
Um, and I always forgive everybody all the time. It's a radio blackout in progress right now. Yeah, airy season is going to mean more fire and more fiery attitudes with people willing to pop off at the mouth and slap each other and getting fist fights and stuff. And, you know, even worse. And that's bad when you have, you know, possible World War Three on the brink type shit happening all the time. So, yeah, you know, when we started Asteroid Fight Club, like nine years ago, the goal was to avoid World War Three and prevent civilization from collapsing. And so let's put a little extra elbow grease in, give it the old college try. Um, especially if you think today's energy is a little unnerving, you have the Saturn Mars conjunction on April 4th. So go ahead and circle your calendar. That is definitely going to be a super crazy wild day. You may want to take the day off and go to a park, go to the ocean, turn off everything. Because, um, yeah, that's going to be a, a weird period. You know what I'm saying? But hang in there. You know, you survived everything the universe has thrown at you so far. And for that, I'm super proud of you. And I'm extra proud of everybody who's still got their sense of humor intact. But it feels like the world's been falling apart for multiple years now. And that everybody's main solution collectively is to be like, let me tell you whose fault it is. Instead of being like, hey, what can we do as an Earth team to solve our problems and work together to make it a better situation where we all live together in this collective society, sharing the air sharing the energy, sharing the water. Instead, it's been in a weird divide and conquer. You know, let me tell you who to blame. Let me tell you whose fault it is. Man, I don't know. I'm just talking. The sun energy must have me all supercharged up. And I only want to say things that are e spectacular. You know, I want to go live and hang out and talk to y'all. But A... I'm gun shy after, you know, Google suspended me for a week. And B, everybody's so sensitive today and these days. So I guess I'm asking you to be cool, stay cool, hang in there, try not to lose hope. I mean, I think things will get better eventually. It might not be until 2024, though. God, that would be depressing. Well, let's hope. That's not true. Um, but yeah, dude, the sun is super active. And I wouldn't be surprised if the sun sends like, hey, y'all calm down warning shot over the bow in the near future, telling us that if we don't get our shit together, it may turn the lights out. But let me say something controversial. If the sun does hit us in the face with like an X-1000 solar flare, it knocks our power grid down. We probably deserved it. And we've got a, a million chances to like get our shit in gear, act like adults, and work towards the pursuit of happiness, making the world a better place, staying calm, staying cool, having a sense of humor. We keep seeing missing those opportunities. And I'd like to take this moment to thank Asteroid Fight Club, my friends, my family, all my teachers. And Jason Alexander and the people at Seinfeld. Because Seinfeld to me was a really, really, really funny, well written show. And George Costanza was really hilarious. Okay. God bless everyone. Stay cool. Talk to you in the near future. May God bless you, me, and everybody else.